now that you you know that's occurred uh, Jim Acosta is claiming that uh, you threatened to toss him from the press conference uh, if he interrupted again uh, is that well, true? It, it, yeah. Well, no, not entirely. So here's what happened. I think the, the clip that you just played, Jim Acosta was inappropriate, yeah. rude, and disrespectful. Uh, and he did it twice. He did it then, the clip that you showed, and he did it again later. After the press conference was over, when the president-elect had left the, the area, had gone up in the elevator, I went over to him. I informed him that I thought his behavior was, as I said, rude, disrespectful, and inappropriate. And that if it happened again, I would have him removed. Now look, Lou, I've been doing Republican Party politics for 30 years. But I'll tell you this. If I watched President Obama treated like that, if I watched President Clinton treated like that, I would react the same. The office of president-elect of President of the United States deserves a level of respect. And having a reporter stand up and basically yell and scream and act as inappropriately and rude as he did is a disgrace. We're better than that. And he was an embarrassment to the press corps. Frankly, beyond the embarrassment that he caused to the president-elect, I think he's an embarrassment to the press corps because the, the rest of the press was behaving appropriately, raising their hand, asked to have questions asked. His network had already had a question answered. And I think he owes an apology not just to the president-elect, but to the entire press corps for his inappropriate behavior. You know, casting back.